Research has found that children and young people are losing their connection with nature. Schools have a vital role to play in reconnecting young people. Groundwork is a regeneration charity that works with communities, schools and businesses to improve the quality of people's lives. We're going to make a back box. How? How? A good question. We start off with these two bits and we're going to hammer them together. Uh -huh. And when we hammer them, if we put them in the right places when we hammer them, we'll end up with one of these. And this all started a few years ago when I got an email forwarded from the deputy head about a project called Wild at Heart. Ready? Ready? Good hammering! Hey, brilliant! The Wild at Heart project works with special schools across Cheshire to increase people's access to green spaces and get children and young people to explore and discover more about the outdoors. Groundwork can lead or support a wide range of learning opportunities from one-off sessions to residential trips in, in the National Park. These sessions can then be combined to go towards pupils receiving um, a recognised national award. The RSPB award involves pupils completing six different activities for their bronze award, 12 activities for their silver and 18 for their gold award. The John Muir award requires a minimum time commitment from participants, four days to achieve the Discovery award, eight days for the Explorer and 20 days for the Conserver award. Well, the school's been involved in the project probably about this is our second year. We had one group who trialled it and that was successful and then Jill's taken this on and found it very exciting both professionally and personally. So we've got young sisters doing it at bronze level, uh, some doing it silver and this year we hope to go for some youngsters who will go to gold. You guys have just made the first battle. Let's check, does it look like that? Yes! Wow! We were approached by Andy via email and asked us whether we'd like to participate in doing the RSPB award. The I Love Marbury is great place. We are going to go and see if we can see any birds from the bird hide. Watch the birds on the bird feeders, and I brought my very, very, very expensive special binoculars so we can ask special listeners. But everyone, everyone can have a go. Each and every one of the children is individual. Um, their level um, of behaviour and support is different. Um, some children require more support than others to understand what was happening or to gain control of the behaviour or remain in control of the behaviour. Oh, it is, it's a J, you just saw a J. Oh wow, I've never seen a J in my life. After initial contact with the school, I will go into the school and meet up with the lead teacher and we'll discuss how the project can fit in with what the school's already doing. Um, basically, I then come into the school and deliver all the sessions that the pupils need to do to achieve their awards. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to go up and up there, have a look and see if we can see any of the birds that are feeding off the feeders, and then we're going to look on some of these pictures I've got and see if we can work out what birds they are. Okay? So let's try and be quiet. If we all try and be quiet for a couple of minutes and see if any more birds come. Mm. Then. You can normally tell it often it goes upside down. We've been able to link it curricular wise um, in various different ways. The whole school is benefiting from it. We've done persuasive letters um, from it with the children, science lessons, 
humanities and ICT lessons doing animal fa files. We decided it would be really nice to put together a wildlife sensory garden. So that was a double points activity for one, um, for one of the um, helping us to get our silver last year. Where are you going? Hello. What, are you going to go and get the bird food? Yeah. My kids now, because I've been coming over with them, they they know how to feed the birds on their own while we're doing it, get the bird feeder out, and it's a total sense of independence. They'll do it themselves. And they're, they're each different as you bring them over. Go, go, go. It's a lot of our young people. It's having the ability to be independent and to be able to do things, real things, by themselves, for themselves, and have a natural interest. I think you can do like a classroom, um, a virtual place within your classroom with the technology you've got nowadays, and that's fabulous. But the, you know, it's a real sensory experience to be doing um, the, the real thing in outdoors. We did the stone bashing, which was something new to all of the staff. Okay, so you're going to hold the plant in and you want to try and gash it like this. All the way round, you want to get the whole leaf. And then when you think you've done it enough, you open it up. And you've got a picture of the leaf that's just out of the juices from the inside of the leaf. And sometimes At least five of the six boys absolutely love nature, they love wildlife, so that was like amazing for them to do. <laughs> Just going out into sort of like the environment, the countryside and, and using things like that that they'd never think you could colour with or so that was like really it was like oh cool this is ace this is that they could actually do and see see it like it's like cause and effect really they could see that there was something at the end of what they were doing. <laughs> work in school grounds and um, we've gone to local parks and then we go further afield to national parks so that people get to see the kind of the different stages of wild spaces and I'm about to take um, three people from Adelaide School themselves. There are three different awards for the John Muir and um, we're still at the early stages um, so we're just going for the first one at the moment. No, I've heard that you lot are, are up for a bit of an adventure. Let's head off Brandon, they'll get yeah. some maps and show us where we are. No, yeah, no, don't, don't give Brandon a map. Give me a map. <laughs> we, well, I say that as well because I've been involved. Um, we've discovered uh, loads of wild areas in ways that we would never imagine, like mountain biking, kayaking, canoeing, just walking and orienteering. We got over four and we like found out where we were staying. We went. We got told we like going geocaching. People that have been here before have put boxes down in certain places with objects like a book in. Log it with the geocaching website and then other people can download that information or get it straight onto their mobile phones and then go and look for these caches themselves. How is he still starfishing? <laughs> the reason that the pupils go to our school is big on social and emotional development and this project enables them to interact with each other, interact with other people that they may not come across in their day-to-day -day lives and it's developed their confidence a lot socially um, and it's got them speaking more and engaging with other pupils within the school and other people outside of our establishment so it's really really beneficial. Got it. Oh, oh you've done it already, that was too easy. Oh, Turn this light like all together. Well, at least like this residential gives the pupils the opportunity to experience the award in its most fullest natural environment. Um, we've only been to places that are just a few miles away from school, but getting really out of school and sort of into the wilderness and the surroundings of what the award is sold on is uh, more of a, an experience for the boys. They're used to towns and cities um, they're having to do things for themselves such as make the bed, go and get their own breakfast, um, responsible for their own hygiene and cleanliness which is also good. So they are, are again skills that they can transfer into real life situations, getting them used to when they're going to be living on their own 
which for some of them may not be that far away. Our kids being in an EBD school are completely different from that of mainstream, but he understands them, he gets them, he's on their wavelength, he explains things in a way that they find interesting and are engaging. We've had enough, can you get off our land please? <laughs> Will you come back? We had a good time. Cheers, See you then, Jay. Come back. Bye bye. 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 I don't think I've seen the lads talk more actively about something than when they have come back from doing an activity. The feedback they are giving to the rest of the boys within the school, um, the, the feedback in assemblies, the feedback they're giving to other teachers just around the place. Um, members of staff aren't having to initiate and instigate conversations with them because they're willingly speaking to them about their experiences of this project so that from our perspective is massive it's absolutely huge the pupils we took on the john muir will not get those opportunities because they come from quite poor uh deprived backgrounds uh, some of them uh care homes perhaps or, or just family broken homes uh so they actually got opportunities to to do things and experience a residential for example uh, going away for a night, a lot of them haven't even done that, not even been out of county. So the fact they got to experience that is great, really. Andy has got a little something for those lads. Thank you very much for having me, everyone. Um, I've had a lovely, lovely, lovely time as well doing these awards with you guys. It's been a right laugh um, from first minute to the last. I'm really proud to be able to come to school today to give you all your certificates for your John Muir Award. So, Brandon, well done. I've learned from Andy that it's all about experience, um, not my experience of things, just the kids and what they experience. They need to have fun, they need to appreciate the outdoors, they need to get covered in mud, get freezing cold, roll around in dirt to truly understand the proper meaning of nature and the way the wildlife works and everything to do with it, because otherwise if they don't have that fun and they don't have those experiences, they will be less willing to share them with their peer groups, their children and their grandchildren in years to come. Well done guys. It's imperative that every child gets the opportunity to do this.